Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's Morning Prayer. I am your host, Coach Shaiteria Jones, your spiritual midwife, helping you to see you as Jesus Christ sees you. I'm excited on this morning, Facebook Clubhouse. I'm excited to be here with you on this morning. Facebook, share, share, share this broadcast. Invite some people on so they can partake with us this morning as we embark on day 17. Clubhouse, ping, ping, ping some people into the room because we want to enter in this morning um, because of the fiery presence of God. And so... We're on day 17 as we press in and pray about being heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Day one, we prayed into the, the fact that God is good. Uh, day two, we prayed into the fact that God loves us. Day three, we prayed into the God who fights for us. Day four, we prayed into God as our exceeding great reward. Day five, we prayed into God as our shield and our buckler. Um, day six, we prayed into God being a holy God. Day seven, we prayed into uh, God being a righteous God. Day eight, we prayed into the God of justice. Day nine, we prayed into the God of correction. And day 10, we pray concerning God as shepherd. Section one of this devotional was all about the fact that we know who we serve. We are now in section two of the devotional. And um, day 11, we prayed into being the daughter or the son of the king. Day 12, we prayed into the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. The fact that we are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. Day 13, we prayed into being accepted. Day 14, we prayed into being the beloved of God. Day 15, we prayed into being redeemed. And today is, I mean, yesterday was day 16, and we prayed into being partakers of the divine nature of Jesus Christ. Um, and now we are praying through my devotional. It's called My Identity is Secure, Daughter of the King 30-Day Devotional. And so um, today is day 17, and we're pressing in and praying about being heir and joint heir with Jesus Christ. Our focal scripture comes from Romans 8, 17 in the King James Version. And it reads, And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may all that we may be also glorified together. You are an heir and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Heir is defined as a person legally entitled to the property or rank of another on that person's death. Heir is also defined as a person inheriting and continuing the legacy of a predecessor. This is huge. This means that as a blood-bought believer, you are legally entitled to all that Jesus has. <clears throat> you are legally entitled to all that Jesus has as well as the rank that he has in the spirit realm. That is why you are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus as you are reading this, as you are listening to me read this. You are also continuing on the legacy that Jesus left in the earth realm. That is why he said in John 14, 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. When Jesus ascended into heaven, he did so fully confident that there would be a remnant of people here on earth that would continue what he started. Jesus was fully confident that the sons of God would take their rightful place and rule and reign with him. As a son of God, or in your case, a daughter of the king, you are to pick up where Jesus, where Jesus left off so that you can advance the kingdom of God. 
It is impossible for you to advance the kingdom of God if you are not aware of who you serve, who you are, and what belongs to you. As a blood-bought believer, you are a big deal in the spirit realm. That is why the enemy works so hard to push you off course. The enemy is afraid of you, so he works extremely hard to intimidate you so that you don't figure out who you are and kick his butt. Intimidate is defined as to frighten or overawe someone, especially in order to make them do what you want. I'm going to read that again. Intimidate is defined as to frighten or overawe someone, especially in order to make them do what one wants. The enemy wants to scare you into doing what he wants you to do. <clears throat> that is why fear is a tactic that the enemy uses often. You have to come out of the space of fear, knowing that you are well loved by the Father. 1 John 4, 18. When you begin to live from a place of God's love, you will be able to rise above fear in every area of your life and believe 100% that you are an heir and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. The spirit of fear has harassed me from my youth. Fear knew me by name. Fear was so intricately woven in my life that I would make decisions from the place of fear, not knowing that fear was motivating me to make the decisions that I was making. When Holy Spirit opened my eyes to see the lies that I had believed about my position in God, it changed the way that I operated in the earth realm. It pushed me from a place of fear to a place of faith because I found out that I served an amazing God who calls me daughter and desires for me to have every promise that he spoke of in his word. I found out that I was an heir and a joint heir with Jesus Christ and that there was no devil in hell that could change that. Romans 8, 35 through 39. Today is about you standing firm as an heir and joint heir with Jesus. Knowing that where Jesus is, there you are also. Knowing that what belongs to Jesus belongs to you. Knowing that when the enemy looks on you, he sees Jesus, the one whom he can never defeat. When you know your position in Jesus Christ, you understand that you are undefeatable because Jesus is undefeatable. We're about to press in and pray through this prayer starter and then I'm going to pray as the Holy Spirit leads. Father, we thank you that because of Jesus Christ, we are now undefeatable. We thank you for thinking enough of us to make an heir, to make us an heir and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. We thank you that no matter what we experience in this life, it is not enough to take us out of your hands. Lord, we look forward to walking with you for the rest of our lives. Lord, please show us how to occupy our role as an heir and a joint heir with Jesus. We want all that Jesus Christ died for us to have. We want every promise that you spoke over us before you placed us in the womb of our mothers. Father, we thank you that you are walking with us along this journey and that because we are your sons and daughters, uh, we are of great value to you. Thank you, Lord, that during this day, we will receive greater insight on what it means to be an heir and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. That as we meditate on this scripture throughout the day, that we are able to see the hidden revelation that you have for us. Thank you for all that you do for us and for all that you will do for us in the future. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for your love, for your grace, for your tender mercies, for how you overshadow us, for how you walk with us, O oh Father God. We thank you for this opportunity to come boldly before your throne of grace, to repent for every lie that we have been fed, for every lie that we have believed, for every moment that we thought we were less than, for every time we agreed with the adversary who told us who we weren't, who told us that we were not royalty, O oh God. When your word tells us that we are heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ, 
Christ. Lord, when your word says that we are hidden in Christ Jesus, when your word says that where he is, there we are also, oh Father God. For every moment we thought we were lowly. For every moment we felt lower than the dirt. For every moment of suicidal thoughts where we said that our lives weren't living or worth living, oh Father God. For every moment we contemplated snuffing out our lives because we thought we weren't worth it when you said that we were worth saving. You said that we were worth dying for. You said we were worth suffering for. You said we were worth it, oh Father God. And so we thank you that you stooped into the womb of a woman that you created, that you came through 40 and two generations and came up on the backside of Bethlehem, that you looked into the faces of those who would once hang you on a cross and you loved them anyway for our sake. And if you had to do it all over again for just little old me, if you had to do it all over again for Rebecca, oh God, if you would have to do it all over again for Reggie, if you had to do it all over again for Ramona, if you had to do it all over again for Sanchelle, if you had to do it all over again for Danielle, if you had to do it all over again for Marquetta, if you had to do it all over again for Priscilla, if you had to do it all over again for Drew, if you had to do it all over again, put Put your name in that place. If you had to do it all over again for them, oh God, you would do it if it was just one. You are the God who leaves the 90 and 9 for the one. You are the God who stoops when we are broken. You are the one who stooped down and wrote in a sand when the people brought the woman caught in the act of adultery, oh Father God. You are not the God of condemnation, but you are the God of conviction. You are the God who calls us into purpose. You are the God who calls us accepted and beloved love. You are the God who left the, the splendor of heaven to come to the squalor of the earth, oh Father God, so we could be raised up in you. We thank you, oh Father God, that no longer will we live as lowly, 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 poor, uh, 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 unloved people oh god you have called us to a place of humility oh father god you called us to a place where we are broken in our spirits and not broken in our souls we have been broken for so long in the very states of our souls oh father god that we don't understand what it means to be broken in our spirits we are asking even now today oh god that you will reveal to us what we look like to you oh god what we look like in the spirit realm how great and mighty you call us because you call us great and mighty in the earth realm, oh God. You called us to slay giants, oh God. You called us to defeat people, de not people. You called us forth to defeat um, um, the, the powers, principalities and powers that were bigger than us. You called us forth to do that thing, oh Father God, because you seated us in Christ Jesus. And now we are heirs and joint heirs. Remind us this day that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual wickedness in high places, oh Father God. We wrestle against those things that we cannot see, oh Father God. So allow us to come out of the place where we are fighting against people, oh God, because we've been battling people telling us who we were, but we have to get face to face with the very thing that is coming to confront us and coming to come for our very seat and posture because before the worlds were framed, violence took place in heaven. Father God, a war took place in the heavenlies. And Michael and his angels fought against Satan and his angels. Your word says that the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. We raise up today as heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ, understanding that we must take a posture of violence. We understand in the name of Jesus that when we battle these wicked devils, we have to battle them as heirs, oh God. We have to battle them as joint heirs. No longer will we be tantalized and seduced and drawn away by the wickedness that has come to to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But we enter into a posture of praise on this morning. We thank you that we are heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We thank you that we are no longer bound by sin. We thank you that we no longer view ourselves um, from a place that you never called us forth to view ourselves, oh God. But we look now from heaven to earth. We view ourselves as postured as royalty, oh Father God. We enter into agreement with who you say that we are because when we know who you say we are, we can live as you called us forth to live no longer do we live as paupers oh father god no longer do we live like a people who have not been issued a will in the earth realm but you have left left us your testament your will and testament by giving us your very word oh god the word was made flesh and dwelt among us the only begotten of the father you wrapped
clothed yourself in flesh so we could be free. Today we desire to say, I know who I serve. I know who I am and I know what belongs to me. I thank you for breaking the back of bondage that thought that it was going to blind your people. I say scales fall from the eyes of the children of the living God. You wicked devil, loose your hold. Every ounce of heart and heart that you have come to infiltrate, we break your back in the name of Jesus. Lord, we repent for entering into a place where we desire to have hardened hearts. Where we desire not to feel anything. We want it to be emotionally numb. I break the back of that feeling in the name of Jesus. And I speak to your heart and I say, be a heart of flesh in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said that you would give us a heart of flesh and you'd renew a right spirit within us. We are asking this morning, Abba Father, for a new heart. We are asking this morning, oh God, uh, to enter into a place where, where you renew a right spirit in us. We are asking today, oh God, to have a new perspective of who you say that we are, oh Father God, because we have been so broken and we have been so battered and we have been so bruised that we have not desired to be a people who were free to live as you have called us forth to live because we have said, if only... I was a little different, then my life would be different. But I shut the mouth of the lion. I say we will not despise our difference. I declare and decree that we will mount up with wings as eagles. We will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. We will be a people who are full of purpose. We will be a people who are full of power. We will be a people who are postured in prayer. We will be a people who even... Um, know that you sing songs of deliverance over us. And so we thank you for every song of deliverance that you have sung over us. We thank you for every song that you sing over us, even in these very moments, oh God. We thank you for freedom, for, for whom the sun sets free is free indeed. We thank you that we can enter into a realm where we break ourselves loose, just as Paul did when he was in prison. And they began to sing songs, oh Father God. They sang songs of Zion, and then the chains fell off of them. There was an earth quaking oh father god and the prison doors open today we even enter into that posture where we praise you that there'd be an earth quaking and the prison doors would open and the chains would fall off of the people oh father god that we would come out of the prisons out of the walled up cities that you never intended for us to be in oh god that we would come into a place and into a posture where we can come boldly before your throne knowing that we are heirs and joint heirs lord some of us have never had anything left to us in the natural so we don't understand how to receive from you in the spirit. Some of us have never been bequeathed anything. Some of us have never been left a, a, a will and testament. Some of us have only dealt with quarreling and fighting when somebody said we could have something. But I break that experience off of your people on this morning and I enter into the realm where we receive. Your word says that freely we can give because freely we receive. We put our, harm, our hands out today and we receive your will and testament for us, oh God. We receive receive the fact that we are heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We receive your promises and we take them as the truth of what they are, oh God. We have had people lie to us, oh Father. We have had people tell us one thing and then the very next moment, oh God, is something completely different. They say, I ain't never said that. This is why your people are struggling, oh God. There have been people who have lied to them. There have been people who have beguiled them. There have been deception that has run through the ranks of their family, oh Father God. And so they wrestle with believing the only one true wise and living God. They wrestle with believing your holiness. They wrestle with believing your righteousness, oh Father God. Lord, we wrestle in moments because we experience the fallen nature of man. But we step in today into the belief of who you say that we are are we step in this morning into the belief of who you truly are see every time the enemy comes to accuse your character oh father god we enter into a posture where we say absolutely not my god is who he says that he is he says that i can have it therefore it is so and let every other man be a liar we thank you in the name of jesus that although some trust in horses and some trust in chariots we the people of god who are called by his name will trust in him for his name is a strong tower that we run into and are safe we believe you on this morning so help our unbelief help us for every time we have gone astray help us for every moment where we second guess you help us for every moment where we murmured and complained help us for every moment where we said well they lied over here so God I don't know if you're trustworthy because you are a God who is trustworthy you are so trustworthy oh God and so we repent for every moment where we felt like we couldn't trust you every moment where we felt like you were beguiling us every moment that we must take 
your voice for the voice of the serpent, the voice of the stranger. Because you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. But just as the snow falls ground to the ground to water it, oh, Father God, so too your word falls down and it will never return to you void. So we grab hold to the fact that you have given us a promissory note, oh God, that you have given us a check with our name on it. You have written to my child and you put our name in that place and you signed it with your seal of approval. You put your name on that thing and we can take it to the bank and cash it. And so we thank you, oh God, that we posture ourselves in prayer this morning to receive from you. But you have sent forth angels to bless us with all spiritual blessings. You've already blessed us with the spiritual blessing. We just have to receive it. You sent forth your, your, your angels to bless us in, in, in the city and to bless us in the field. But sometimes we don't believe you want us blessed in the city. And we don't believe you want us blessed in the field, oh God. We don't believe you want us blessed in our comings. And we don't believe you want us blessed in our goings. Because when the weight of life gets on us, we blame you, oh God. And so we repent, oh Father God, for when things got heavy. When we got in the thick and in the midst of that thing. That we blamed you for something that was never your fault. We thank you, oh God, that we are no longer agreeing with the voice of the accuser as he has come to supplant us, oh God, as he has come to subvert uh, um, our attention away from you and cause us to see you as wicked. See, the word of God says that we will call good evil and evil good, and sometimes we call you evil, oh God, but your word says that every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above, from the father of lights, and so we thank you for being the father of lights, that there's no shadow or turning in you, oh God. We repent for every time we called you a shadow, and every time we called you a turning oh father god every time we said something that was contrary to your word every time we believe the report that was contrary to the truth of who you are we repent on this morning and we say that we are heirs and joint heirs with jesus christ we believe that we are royalty therefore we see we receive what your royal word says that we can have we are a people that you have authorized to operate in the earth realm and we declare and decree that this operation shall go forth and we shall not be hindered and we shall not be moved and so we bless your holy name on this morning oh god and we say have your way in us and through us in the mighty name of jesus lord we just bless your holy name on this morning we bless you for what you're doing in us and through us we thank you for just your love for your grace and for your mercy in jesus name amen listen i bless god for you all this morning good morning janice good morning wanda good morning everybody on facebook i bless god for you i bless god for you joining me on this morning for morning prayer as we have pressed in and as we have prayed, I'm excited because Daddy God is amazing. And as he has been unlocking to us exactly who we are, listen, if you're like, I need to get this devotional, Facebook, you can click the link in the video and you can get your very own copy of this devotional. Um, where else am I on? This is called, oh, Club, Clubhouse, Clubhouse, Clubhouse. You can go to my Instagram, click the link in my Instagram, and you can get your very own copy of this devotional. Tomorrow, we are pressing in and praying concerning being overcomers. You don't want to miss as we press in and pray and as we break the back of the enemy as he thought he was going to come and steal, kill, and destroy from us. But because we know who we are in Jesus as we are pressing in, and entering into a realm where we say, where we can say, I know who I serve, I know who I am, and I know what belongs to me. We are taking back our stuff because there's a territory that we have been assigned to dress and to keep. So tell somebody about morning prayer because we don't play with devils and we're breaking the back of the enemy and we're coming to get our stuff, okay? And so we will be back on 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to invite you also to join my communities. I have a beautiful souls community. That's the place where God turns our message into a miracle if you are looking for God to show up and show out and just to strip you of some things that you have been carrying in this life beautiful souls is for you if uh, I have another uh, membership it's called um, leader soul and that's the place where God turns our leadership into legacy if you are a leader and you have been um, in the world but you don't have a biblical model of what leadership looks like then this membership is for you listen that's the place where God turns our leadership into legacy also 
often we don't understand that God wants to reproduce us in the earth realm. And so we don't allow him to put his hand on our leadership and we enter into demonic models of leadership. And then we wonder why we're not having the level of success that the word of God says that we can have. And it's because we don't understand the biblical models and the protégés that we are supposed to be modeling after. And so I break all of that down in my membership. We enter into the glory of God because we don't do nothing without the Holy Ghost, okay? We got to have the Holy Ghost. We got to have the Son. We got to have the Father. We got to have all of them in that place or else we, we ain't going to be doing nothing, y'all. We going to be, mm -mm, it's not going to be right. So we do it according to the word of God so we can have the success that the word of God says that we can have. We take care of a lot of soul work in that place so we can be free to be who God called us forth to be. Um, um, we can uh, passionately pursue purpose so we can occupy the place called destiny. So you want to join me in one of those memberships or both of them because they're both, they're different memberships and they will both bless your entire life on um, Facebook. You can click the link in the description to this video to sign up. There are three different payment options. So grab the payment option that's right for you, okay? And then on um, Clubhouse, you can go to my Instagram and sign up there for uh, those as well. Again, there's three different payment options. Grab the one that's right for you because it's life-changing. We have a beautiful souls meeting this Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then we have a leader soul meeting um, the first Friday in March. So Leader Souls meets every first Friday and Beautiful Souls meets every fourth Friday. So you want to be in that place as God is blessing us and just moving mightily in those areas. I want to invite you on Facebook to go ahead and send me your prayer requests. I want to pray with you. I love to pray. And so we want to agree and pray and press in. Okay, so send me your prayer requests. If you want to be, you can put them in the comments or you can message me. Um, I, I do a uh, reply. You can also join me on my Royal Faith Fast where we are destroying the appetite of fear that begins March the 1st. It will not be broadcasted on any of my social media platforms. We will be on Microsoft Teams. So if you want to be in the midst of that, you need to send me your first name and your email address letting me know you want in on the Royal Faith Fast because we are shutting the mouth of the lion. We're going to do that fast four times this year and we're going to be dealing with our appetites in the natural because the foods that you feed yourself in the natural actually fuel the fear that you live in the spirit realm and so I want to help you with that I want to help you shut down the things in your soul that are causing you to crave some things that are feeding the fear that's actually killing you and so I want to help you do that the royal faith fast is free it's free to join there is a devotional that goes along with it but if you're like coach I can't afford that devotional you don't have to purchase the devotional to come on but it's a great companion with you through the process um, okay, uh, that is all of the announcements. Facebook, I bless God for you on this morning. Thank you for joining me. Clubhouse, you know we're coming to talk about the prayer that was prayed this morning for uh, uh, praise reports and anything else that we normally do on here. Facebook, I bless God for you. We will be back on here 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Bring a friend, bring two friends, bring three friends. Join me, join me, join me. I'm looking forward to seeing you in another broadcast. <laughs> Bye.